Hi guys. I hope you can hear me and see me. I'm just making some white base paint real quick. I am here. I'm not happy camper right now, but I am here. <laughs> so Brian, Vicky, and Shelly know why I'm not happy. <laughs> so I had a mobile groomer come today. Let's just say I have to regroom my dogs. She couldn't finish Ellie, and Finn got his back shaved. That was about it. They were here for three hours. And she still charged me full price. So, other than being rude and nasty to her, I just said, we're good. I paid her and went on Amazon and ordered a grooming table. So I can just do them myself. Good. I'm just adding a little water to this white base paint for a pour for later. But before we do that, I just want to say hello to everybody. There's lots of you here. I gotta turn on my live chat, not my top chat, so I don't get myself. <laughs> so, hello to Emily and Kat and Brian and Janice, Shelly, Susan. I saw Susan. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi, Nathan. I got your message, Nathan. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Give me a few days. I got to see what my schedule looks like. Hi, Colleen. All right, last week we did little mini bloomies on hearts for Valentine's Day and they, they are tad wonky in spots but they're still pretty and they dried really nice there's no warping at all um I'm not minding them at all actually this is probably my favorite one even though it's wonky it's actually kind of cool And then we did that purpley. See it? Oh, so pretty. So I did that one. And then we tried the boastful. Look at the shine on that one. But that one was probably the wonkiest. But I'm going to play with them, I think, before I resin them. I might go in with some paint pens and draw some little circles and, you know, just play with them a little bit. So let me move these out of the way. I gotta, can't put them face to face because they'll stick. I could probably stack them though. It's been a week. Well, we should be okay. Oh, let's see. So as most of you know, if you're in the group, um, we have three new colors today. I released them, I think it was Saturday. But they're super pretty. So the first one I mixed up was the Tiger Lily. This is a burnt orange. Super, super shiny on that one. See the shine on that? I love it. Super pretty. Reminds me almost of Fire Opal. It's not quite as deep, but it's the shine is about the same. But that one's Tiger Lily named after Lily. <laughs> then I did a uh, poppy red. This one is, this has a gold metallic and this also has a gold metallic. And that one's pretty shiny too. It doesn't have quite as much um, glistening effect, but it's still pretty shiny. I could add more gold to it, but I'm afraid it'll pull more orange. So, and then we did Twilight Pearl, and that's named after Poppy. And then we did uh, Twilight Pearl. I didn't have any way to call it twig, but I did the twig. 
So it's kind of named after Twig. But this color is gorgeous. This has a blue interference in it. And that's what you'll see when it's dry. Very close to that, pearl, that pearlized carbon black. Speaking of which, Brian, I mailed your paint out to you today because there was no mail yesterday. So tonight we're going to do three giveaways and get a chance to win one of these. Um, it's going to be my choice which one you win. So I'll put that up before the drawing. Um, I have some that are already mixed with silicone in them that I'm going to be using up tonight because I wanted to do just a tester piece to see how they played together. They do not play well together. Um, I did get a little muddy. So, this orange, of course, is the reason. So, don't use the orange with the twilight unless you have two or three colors in between them. That will save you the heartache. <laughs> but I'm going to try it in a flip and drag. But I'm not going to add a ton of the orange. So that's what we're going to do first, is an 8x16 flip and drag with those colors. Hi, Nate. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Tara. Tara, that, that uh, Twilight Pearl is pretty. I could see you doing something with that. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Did I miss anybody? Okay, let me get some white on this canvas and we can go from there. So I wanted something named after the puppies, but I didn't really want to use their names, so I kind of incorporated them in a little bit. I really wanted to do a purple for Poppy, but we have a lot of purples in our line right now. And I got the new Beach Retreat color done. It is gorgeous. But you have to wait till May for that. Hi, Dammy. So my hot water tank is dripping. Actually, it's the expansion tank above it it has a leak so tomorrow I probably will have a plumber here so if you hear a drip 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 you'll know what that is never fails when it rains it pours right everything goes at once so I have to move everything in my studio tonight so they can get in here with a hot water tank and be able to put one in so I will probably be up till Two o'clock in the morning, moving stuff. Hi, Vic. Vic Scott Company. I knew she'd be a little late. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use my little five ounce cup. I am going to spray it with some WD-40 silicone spray just so that I can get all the paint out. real quick. Don't touch anything with silicone. <laughs> we can all leave now. That's funny, Nate. <laughs> Aw, Vic, Nate's picking on you. <laughs> all right, let me uncover these real quick. So this is Twilight Pearl Mixed. Super pretty. It's a really dark, dark, dark Payne's gray. It's almost black. But it's got that blue interference in there. This is Poppy Red. Super pretty red. Uh, it's a little bit more gold than Alan's red. Not as dark. Not as bold. And then this is Twilight. Oops, got bit, I got blurry there. Come on, camera. 
So see the gold in it? Come on, camera. Don't start tonight. I'm not in the mood for you. Be so vain. The camera's vain. Beautiful gold shimmer in that. And it's not a bright, bright orange. It's a little deeper. But it's super pretty. Okay. I am going to add... What do I want to add to that? It needs one more color. It's something to tone it down a smidge. So I think I'm going to put um, chestnut bronze in there without silicone. Those have silicone. This one does not. Um, Nathan, if you put that silicone spray in your paint, you will get cells, yes, because it is silicone. Just a touch of chestnut browns in the bottom. I am going to start with the tiger lily. I think I'll layer chestnut browns between each one. Okay. Oops. Stay there. A little bit of poppy red. And then our Twilight Pearl. I think I want a little more than that. And I am going to put the Chestnut Browns over top of that too. <clears throat> so I'm a little bit past my pinky. Maybe about an eighth of an inch. <laughs> I'm not going to stir it because we know we'll get mud for sure. I'm going to flip it here. See my thumb shaking? I'll bring it down just a little bit. All right, all our paint dropped out of the bottom. So I'm gonna start moving. But I wanna poke a little hole in there first so I don't get it sucked in. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna be really super careful about Coming back. See how that blue, the twilight pearl, and the um, orange do not like each other. But I think we'll be okay. So let's set for just a second. I'm a little thin here, so I'm going to have to move it this way a little bit. Okay, so I am going to tilt it this way. I may take it all the way to the end. Then we'll come back, tilting it back and forth though. To become straight, you're going to run a river right through the middle. So you want to keep everything even. Okay, let's bring it back. Bring it down a little bit here. And a little bit that way. I'm just running some white off. Being careful not to go over those edges. Let's bring it back. 
Okay. It's very bright, isn't it? Yes, Shelly, it's so vibrant. Okay, let's give it a little torch. We won't see a lot more coming up, but I have to get these air bubbles out. I am going to airbrush this only because I want to see what comes out from those edges because I do have the Twilight Pearl here. Should move it away from that edge a little bit more. Okay. Gun in hand. <laughs> Trying to fix that. I don't like the way it looks. So we have to kind of mask it with something else that looks similar. That kind of looks pretty cool actually. So I'm just pushing out a little bit. Oh now see I like what that's doing. It's actually creating um, a little sellage on the ends, but it's not breaking down the gold. So that's going to be really super pretty when that dries. I've been wanting to make that twilight or that um, tiger lily for a long time, but um, I was in my head I wanted it more brownish. But when I mixed it darker, I didn't like it. So I added more gold and my yellow pigments and orange, dark cad orange. And yeah, I got it where I wanted it. I like this little ethereal look thing we got going here. So I have to step back for a minute. I like to look at the screen to see what my top looks like before I flip it. I really like that spot. Let's see if I can bring a little forward. No. Doesn't want to move there. Okay. So we're going to turn it around. That's what I do when I airbrush because I want the same resistance of air or I should say the same force of air as I had here if I went this way it would probably fly more off the canvas and be more straight lines than that rounded blowouts and I always hold it like a pencil and I hold it sideways And anytime you're blowing out and you get a loop and you don't like it, just touch it. It breaks it right off. I'm not a loopy girl. Okay, so I want to be a little careful here. I actually like that big white cell there. twilight out into the white to see what we get as far as color. That also helps me know that if it's going to flocculate. <laughs> because we hate flocculation. Alright, let me touch these edges here. And one more torch. looking at it. Give me a minute. It's 
So I have some loopies here I don't like. I'll turn it around. Get another eye point of reference here. This did go over. I don't mind that at all. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm still not digging that spot. Alright, so I'm going to scrape that little part off. And I'll add a little bit of white paint there. I'll blow it off. There. All gone. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Did I miss anybody coming in? Hi, Roxanne. <laughs> My biggest fear with those drips is because it's the expansion tank on top of the hot water tank, if that blows, it's going to shoot water all over my studio and my canvas rack is over there. So I may cover everything with plastic tonight just to be on the safe side. Because I should have called the plumber today, but because the dogs were getting groomed, I didn't want to be without water, and I didn't want to cancel my appointment. Because Ellie definitely needed a haircut. And see what I get? I should have canceled my appointment. <laughs> Let me lift it up and see it a little bit closer. I can't wait to see that tiger lily dry in there, as well as the other two, red poppy and twilight pearl. I like the way that it blew out that twilight pearl. You can definitely see the green undertone. And there's that spot I fixed. So I'm going to take this over to the drying rack and clean up and we'll do one more. But first, I'm going to do a giveaway. So make sure that you are refreshed and ready for a giveaway while I pick all this up. And my moderators are not allowed to play tonight because they have these colors coming to them. So Brian, you don't have to be stingy. <laughs> Let someone else win. Jazz. Yes, Jazz, we are showing off the three new colors that we put in the Epti shop this week, weekend. 
So we're playing with them a little bit. But right now, I'm going to give a jar away. I think I'm going to do all three giveaways right in a row so we get that out of the way. And then I'm going to do a straight pour with that Twilight Pearl. I would really love to try the Tiger Lily in there as well, but I'm so afraid we'll get mud. But we might try it. We'll see. Okay, let me get my papers down. It's definitely not colors you want to put together if you are doing a kiss pour or something like a dirty pour. They're beautiful. You would think they would be beautiful together, but like I said, if you're going to use them together, separate them with a couple of other colors just to be on the safe side. They are so pigmented that when they touch, like when these two touch, you're definitely going to get mud. That's how, that's how powerful they are. <laughs> All right, let me get my numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and write three down so I'll be ahead of the game. Um, you're okay, Jazz. Were you crying about the pops? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Make sure you guys can't see me over here. Alright, nope. I'm hiding. So I have my three numbers down, and we're going to go between 0 and 50. If you live in the U.S., I pay the shipping. If you live outside of the U.S., you pay the shipping. <laughs> I love doing giveaways. I love giving, sharing, and giving to y'all, and thanking you for being here all the time. So, I guess we should get this party started, huh? All right, are you ready? On your mark. Oops, I gotta put one under here. Hang on. Uh, first one is gonna be for Poppy Red. You don't get a choice, remember? Poppy Red. On your mark, get set, go. I have a winner. Stop, please. So the winning number, got to make sure, I'm just checking, checking, checking. So my winning number is 21, and it is Chuck. Congrats, Chuck. Hand that jar right over to Miss Tammy. <laughs> I know where to send it, I think. guys stop please so I see a few of you are lagging so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys get a chance to refresh uh, Shelly can you type refresh in there for me please everyone refresh we have laggers <laughs> of course it will Chuck <laughs> hi Deborah. hi Denise hi Mary You've been called Chuck before, Vic? You're funny. All right. Oops. Next one is Tiger Lily. I put the sticker on the bottom. Please refresh your screens. I don't want anybody to be lagging and miss out on winning something. Jan. Hi, Beth. All right, 
right, you guys ready? I know, Vicki, this is like the perfect color for you with your yellow. On your mark, get set, go. We have a winner. You can stop already. Right out the gate. <laughs> So my winning number is 11, and my winner is Sonia. Congrats, Sonia. I will need your mailing address, Sonia, so make sure that you email me um, your specifics to christinawelchart at yahoo.com. Twilight Pearl is going to be next, guys. And hang on, I will let you know when to go. I want to make sure everybody's ready to go. Okay. This is like the most popular color right now. I'm just letting you know I sold out of all the big jars like the first hour I had it up on Etsy. <clears throat> I have not refilled big jars yet, so you have to buy small ones. <laughs> I need a day to sit down and mix again. All right, guys, last drawing for or last giveaway for tonight. Number between zero, or I should say one and 50 on your mark. Get set. Go. I'm just going back and I'm going really slow so I don't miss the number. Okay, I have a winner, so you can stop. But I'm going back to make sure I didn't miss anyone before that. I don't see anyone before that. So far. Oh, my winner is Princess Jasmine, number 49. Congratula congratulations, honey. I have your address, so I know where to send it. So I do get a lot of flack about timestamps. So what I see on my screen is the very first person that put that in there. We had a little issue with Mr. Brian, actually, <laughs> thinking he had it first. So I sent him a screenshot as to how I see it, and I proved him wrong. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not seeing the stops, Nate, because they're probably lagging. So by the time that they see it, they're it's too late anyway. All right. And it, you know what? Sometimes you can't help the lag. I've been on lives where I'm like four or five seconds behind everybody, and I'm like, oh, I missed that. Because I'll see where they type in, you know, to stop or whatever, and I'm like, I'm still trying to guess. <laughs> Oh no, that's not good. Got to keep yourself busy, right? Okay. So I have a 14 inch round. Ooh, my. 
So we're going to do a straight pour, but I think I am going to spin it so that it opens up better instead of me tilting, because on a round you really don't need to tilt, you just need to centrifugal force it off. That's true, Emily. I totally agree. Okay, I'm going to get some gloves on. <laughs> Brian, you know why? Because you're always giving me the shite. <laughs> so I'm just giving it back just a little bit. Because I will forget all about some of that stuff by the time we get to the retreat, where I can really give it back to you. <laughs> okay, so because I'm not using silicone, I already have these mixed in bottles without silicone. I'm really... This is going to make just a tiny little appearance in this pour. But I am going to bring some other colors in. So I am going to bring in dark chocolate, as soon as I find it, because so I think that would look really cool next to the tiger lily. And then I'm going to bring in... I think I'll put a gold between that and whatever's going to go next. Yes, we have knockoff. It's our version of knockout from Art Minds. It's very close and it's super pretty. Okay, so then next to the poppy red. I think we'll try. Oof. Can't go too dark because sometimes they meld and then they make an awful ugly color. Let's try um, the 2021 Beach Retreat next to that red. That'll make it pop even more. So between the poppy red and the twilight, um. I think that's where I'll put some of that chestnut bronze again because that did work out pretty good. I don't have a lot of it left, so. All right, I'm going to slide this over. We're going to fill our cup. I only have big cups out here, so I'm not going to fill that all the way. Sleeping Beauty and the Beach Retreat are very similar in color. This is more metallic -y. Okay, so. Okay, so if I use the chocolate first, we're still good. I'm just trying to think what I want in the center. I think I'll do the Twilight Pearl first because I think I'd rather have that in the center with the chestnut bronze. I don't have a lot of chestnut bronze. I don't even know if I have enough to uh, do two rounds, but we're going to try. If not, I'll throw some copper or something in there. You cold all the time, Nate? I'm not cold all the time. <laughs> it's actually been really nice here. I'm not complaining. got some beautiful weather coming and then we got rain again. I know shall 80 tomorrow. Yeah, I can open some windows maybe because the pollen hasn't started yet. All right. Twilight Pearl. A little bit of chestnut bronze. I don't want to overpower. It's just there to highlight. Poppy red. B 
Beach Retreat 2021. Time to clean my nozzles. It's like a crayon tip. There it goes. Well, maybe. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it all. Okay, then we're gonna add some gold rush. I think I need a little more gold rush. I get nervous when I put an orange next to a blue. You would think it would be fine, but not in pouring, it's not. Okay, so here comes our tiger lily. And our dark chocolate. So here's where I'm gonna put the chestnut browns again, just to break up that layer. Go back with the twilight. chestnut bronze to separate those two. Some poppy red. Twenty twenty one beach retreat. I want a little more of that because I really want that to show up. I'm getting that southwestern vibe from that too. Some gold. I think that was a goober. Yep. I got it before it went down in the paint. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't paint enough. Your paint tops get goobery. Okay, Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily does have a tendency to take over, so keep that in mind if you're using it. And some dark chocolate. A nice heavy dose, dose of that. Definitely have enough paint to cover this canvas, so I should not need a flow extender. But we shall see. Yeah, I know, Susan, you'd love that tiger lily. I bet you'd be gorgeous in a bloom, too. And you can use these for blooming, too. All right, here we go. I'm always on the opposite, so I pinch here. Oh, let's see, what do I wanna do? It's so pretty, but I'm not seeing the, uh, huh. now I'm seeing it. All right, this is probably going to spin off, so I'm not worried about this. My focal is that. sure I'd like this here because my colors kind of bled a little. Let's do a little skewer play. Huh? I'm not going to wreck it. I'm just going to do a little skewer play. Or I'm going to pull some color into that area. I got my steak, Shelly. Shelly loves her stick. 
I ordered some um, metal Chinese, what do you call them? Chopsticks. Sheesh. To use for blooming. All right, and then on this side, this is going this way, so I'm going to continue to go pull that that way. Because I don't want anything set in stone on here. Kind of let it do its own thing. going to add a little bit of paint for a float extender though because I don't want to lose um, as, well I should say I don't want to lose this side I don't care about this side so what I'm going to do is tip it that way first and I'll add some float extender here and let's see what do I got for posting that Shelly. Yes, I still have rooms available for the beach retreat. If you'd like to join us. Hi Evelyn. Um the ones that I got are a little pointy. I also have name needles that I brought out here that I found when I cleaned my bedroom yesterday. <laughs> I brought those out here too. Play with them a little bit. I'll give this just a little bit here so I can just push it over. We're going to lose all that black, so I'm not too worried about it. want to get that paint balanced by weight so when I spin it it won't all pull to this side so I have more weight here there we go it should be okay now palette knife real quick. I'm learning to clean as I go because I keep getting these mounds of messes that I'm not happy about. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to gently spin. I'm not going to be whipping it, Brian, because I don't have my bin up here. We're going to slowly take that off. I'm pretty sure the chopsticks I ordered were pointy. We'll see. I didn't pay much for them. I shop on Timu. <laughs> Everything's cheap on Timu. Oh, Brian, if I had my bin, I would probably whip it, but my bin's not big enough for a 14. That I can actually get my hand in there, you know what I mean? Still makes the same noise. <laughs> splatter, splatter. That's my goal was to get that more of that twilight off, and it's working out well. But we're gonna keep going. I thought I saw a paint chunk. There it is. I'm gonna get that before I spin it again.
and I think I'm gonna torch it before I spin it again. My goodness, I'm gonna definitely time clean those bottle tips. So I have a lot of bubbles. I'm not minding where those colors blended together. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, they're gone now. I'm pretty sure I got them all. That's a bubble. All right, where's my stick? My handle. Nate, you always want to embellish everything. <laughs> it's almost off, Bri. Yeah, red and turquoise look beautiful together. You just have to be really careful because see how I pulled some purple with it? I like to break it up with a, just a thin um, layer of something else in between. One little one, and I think we're going to stop. So I'm going to stop it now, and I'm going to, of course, I'm cleaning my bottom as it stops. And then we're going to see when I tilt it, all my sides are covered very well. I'm going to come over here this way and see if that black comes off when I tilt. It's not moving much. I love the way this opened up right here. Got a big pile of brown there. But it dries so dark that it won't look quite so brown. Because it is a dark chocolate. I can live with that tiny little bit there. I'm going to bring it back to the middle and I'm going to get one tiny more, one more tiny spin. Just as even it all out. Yeah, it's pretty cray cray. We could do something really fun with this. Because I like it just like that. We could do a little stenciling through here. Or we could take the innards of that brown and just do gold leaf there that would look really pretty too when it dries this is a bubble all right one more torch so my metallics played well they didn't give us a bunch of cells that's what I was afraid of we didn't get any, so I'm happy about that. Everything looks pretty smooth. I'll check this spot right here. Oh, there's a little piece of paint in there. That's fixable. Super easy. Still in there. I didn't get it. So I know what I'm doing this weekend. I'm taking all the tops off my bottles and cleaning them. <laughs> that looks good. So next week we'll get to see this one dry. And the other one. Hopefully that'll be nice and super sparkly and shiny. So you can see how well that paint does work together. <laughs> Anyone is welcome to come and help me clean my studio at any time. You may even go home with some goodies. <laughs> so if you live near me, come on over. 
I've been trying to get Vic to come up here and help me. But, you know, things happen. Can't make it. I would love to get it cleaned up before the retreat so I can come home and relax in a clean studio. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. We've been on almost an hour, and you got to see the new colors in action. That tiger lily is super, super bright. Twilight's playing really well here. And, of course, our red poppy is mixed in with that turquoise. It's showing up everywhere. Puppy red, sorry. <laughs> so it'll take me a month to learn the color names properly. <laughs> I can't do one more, Brian. I have no drying room. This will take up half of my shelf, so I wouldn't have anywhere to dry it. And I have to have my heat on tonight, so. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I will see you all very, very soon. I'm hoping I can get some videos up here pretty quick. I've been really, you know, lazy. <laughs> and I still haven't started my taxes yet, so I have excuses. But um, if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, click on the bell for all notifications, because some people tell me they don't get the notifications. Make sure that you have that clicked all. Um, if you're interested in coming on the beach retreat, send me an email, christinawelchart at yahoo.com, and I'll send you all the information. And we have, ooh, we have so much stuff coming up. I have a couple collabs coming up, so watch out for those, and take it easy, guys, and I will see you all next week live on Tuesday. Hopefully, I'll put up some videos for you to enjoy later this week. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.